Hey guys, it's Bean. This video is really only for people struggling to find a style, especially one they can replicate. Or maybe you just want to try something new. Just to say now guys, this isn't guaranteed to work, but this is what helped me when I was in need of help with my style. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's get started. There's three main parts to this video to help you. Inspiration, annotating, and replicating. All three steps go hand in hand, so if you are going to try this method, make sure to watch till the end. So inspiration is quite self-explanatory. Inspiration for your style. So this could be an animator's style, a style you found on Google, but my personal favourite is Pinterest. Now when I say to be inspired by someone's style, it doesn't mean to just steal their art or their style. No, I mean to pick it apart and take its block shapes to really discover what you love from it. If you straight up steal their style or art, not only is it incredibly disrespectful, but you as a person will never be able to truly replicate that style in a different scenario. So, I'll give you a second to pause the video and find one or multiple styles that you like, and we can move on to the second step, my personal favourite. Okay, so you have your pictures there, let's talk about annotating. Here are a few examples. It's basically breaking down the characters and in annotating off their little notes to help you remember how to do this style. Now being honest with you, I still use my reference sheets until this day, especially for my chibi characters. I have one proper reference sheet with my unique style, so here that is. If you want, you can use it as a reference for your reference sheets. If you chose to have multiple different styles together, put all your favourite elements into one final sheet so you have one reference sheet to work off. If you need help with creating a reference sheet, here's a blank one to put your notes. Congratulations, you're so close to being done, don't worry. Now to put all this into action, let's use that sheet to create a character. I would advise for your first character using this new style to do a character you're very familiar with. So, did it go well? Did it make sense? Leave some tips of your own in the comments, and if you have any questions, please ask them and I will get to answering them ASAP. As I said, this is what worked for me and won't work for everyone, but I did really want to post this video because I know and remember how it feels to be constantly upset that my art just had no style and felt very still. Quite frankly, it was the most demotivating part of my life, and just remember, if this isn't working for you, please don't give up, no matter what. The world needs your beautiful talent. Now, if this has worked for you, and you would like to do this, I'd like to give you a few extra challenges to see what you've got. So, I'd like you to draw someone in a wheelchair, someone flying, someone stubbing their toe, and someone in a pool of their own desperation. The last one is a bit of a joke, but if you do try any of these out, please either send me a tweet at dandydandu, or even tag me in a video with hashtag meme styles, and yeah. Have an amazing day and I hope to see you soon in another video.